Cause it's Gina, Gina Bernadette Weber. Ching! Hi, welcome back to Cooking with Gina. Today we're gonna do something so special. You're gonna wanna stay tuned for this one, baby. Meat loaf. So this recipe is special. It comes from my girlfriend, my lover, my best friend's family's recipe that she grew up eating. Um, so it is like a hand written or actually it's typed uh, recipe. There's not really um, ingredient uh, measurements too much. So we're gonna be palming a lot of stuff today. Let's hope it turns out okay. So, uh, hey, I just rhymed. I'm a poet, didn't know it. Awesome. But first, before we start on our cooking journey today with Cooking with Gina, I have to give a special shout out to a little lady who just turned 13. Her name is Ava. Woo -woo. I believe that she is Team Edward. She likes Greta Van Fleet. And she's an amazing friend to my niece. So thanks, Ava, for being an amazing, funny, awesome little lady. And happy 13th birthday! <laughs> now, let's get cooking, good looking. Well, 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 what do we got here? Here is our recipe spread. It's actually real simple, real easy, quick, down and dirty. Um, we got cheese, Parmesan grated, uh, onion recipe, recipe soup and dip mix, and Lipton. I just thought they made iced tea, guys, but apparently they also do dry soup mixes. So, yep. Um, two eggs, well, one egg per pound. So I'm we're gonna do two pounds, I guess, so two eggs. Empty bowl, woo! And then also we have our breadcrumbs. Um, they're actually, uh, what are they called? Pork rinds, pork rinds, because we're trying to do low carb here still. So, you know, we substitute as we can. And then we have our meat. I like to use um, Nature's Promise a lot of times because it's organic and all that fun stuff. So uh, yogurt too back here, a uh, little heavy whipping cream, says milk, but hey, heavy cream, whatever. That has like dairy and shit in it. So um, yeah, that's our spread. First of all, we're gonna put some stuff in that bowl. Okay, let's do it. Real quick, I just wanna show you what the recipe looks like. So I am going to pop the picture in of the recipe right now. Ready? Take a look, see. pounds of meat in here. Hey, look who joined us. There's Sage. There's Rue. What are you guys doing? Do you want some meat? Yeah, here you go. Go eat your meat. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. So, we're going to do it. Here we go. Got that good, good meat. Yeah, look at that. Looks like brains. Uh, I did wash my hands because I got a little salmonelli on them. So remember, wash your hands, okay? After you deal with any kind of raw meat, you know, you should probably do that. All right, so now, next we're gonna put a whole packet of Lipton iced tea. Just kidding. Um, that onion crap, onion soup mix, we're gonna Mix a whole thing in there, okay? So let's do that. Yowza! Next up, on our list, two eggs. I have a question for you though. 
Which came first, the chicken or the f***ing egg? Hmm? <laughs> Left hand egg cracking time. Trying to brush up on my skills, if y'all been following. And actually, today I'm also going to do a double left-handed. So I'm going to do two, one left hand, crush it. Like, crush it. And then we're going to pop it all up in this biatch. You wish me luck. Okay, don't try this at home, guys. Um, I have a feeling this is going to be either a very good idea or a really bad idea. But, okay, let's... I'm gonna try it. Ready? All right. Um. I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna work out. I need two hands, and I have my cell phone in the other hand, so I need to let me let me let me do something about this quick here. Don't worry. Don't worry. I have everything under control. That did not go as I expected or wished, uh, but it could have been worse, right? Could it could always be worse, okay? Um, so we have our, there's two eggs. Oh, there's a second one just hanging out in there, like, hey, hanging out. Uh, there's two eggs in there. Um, now we're going to put some pork rind things in there. I don't know how much really, so we're gonna palm it, okay? You know how we love the palm things around here. So we're gonna palm it, put it in there. Um, again, they are like um, breadcrumbs, only it is low carb version, uh, chopped up pork rind skins. So yeah, let's palm it. Meditate on how much is in your hand to kind of weigh it out, right? So we're gonna look at, we're palming it. We're gonna palm it, all right? How much do you think that is? Because I don't know. Um, one, let me let me feel it out. Let's see, one third of a cup. Maybe a little less. I don't know, all right? Let's see, I don't know. 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 There she is. Yes. Next up, we got some Parmesan palming to do. This should be fun. Parmesan, Parmesan time. Ready? Parmesan it up. The recipe calls for a plethora of grated cheese. Um, so I don't know how much that is, but we're going to palm it. Palm it. All right, how's that look? Bam! Whoa, well, I like cheese, so screw it. Okay, um, I think that might be enough because we can, like I said, always put more, we can't put less. So, yep, let's try it out. Next, I feel like we should mix this up. Let's mix. We're going to use our Magical knife, yeah! Magical knife is going to be, it's magic, and so I don't have to mix this up because next step in our journey is mixing this up. So um, I'm gonna magical knife it. Let's see what happens. Let's, let's go. Abra. Kaleidoscope. Um, what is this thing? Some sort of mermaid gnome, a mer gnome. Wow, that's kind of cool. I really like that, actually. Okay, cool. But we still have to get our uh, bowl back here. That's to mix it up. So let's let's try this magical knife again and see if we can't get it to work here. Um, all right. Abra. Bazaar. There she is. Look at that little ball of appetizing brain. I think 
therefore I am. Yeah. Let's play ball. It's volleyball. Serving. Dodgeball. Tennis, anyone? Soccer. Just kidding. Enough about balls. Let's go set the oven. Okay, oven setting time, 3.50. We're gonna set it for, for 30 minutes for our loaf, pan, meat, pie, stuff. All right, let's start off by baking. And, oh, look, it already has it at 3.50. So, start. Guess what time it is? It's time to moisten that meat. Yes, we're gonna put some heavy cream and some plain yogurt, put it in this bowl, mix it up, and then put it in this. Um, I'm not really sure how to moisten meat. It looks moistened already, I'm not gonna lie. So um, I'm not gonna put a lot in there. Yeah, again, we're just going off of my awesome cooking skills, so here we go. All right, a little dillip. Mmm, looks good. I don't know. And a little dollop. How does that look? I, I spread it around the top there pretty good. I think it's moistened enough. Um, so next we're going to put it in our baking pan here. Okay. I am kidding. Did you really think I'm that stupid? Well. Hey, don't answer that. You guys should smell this though, for real. It's the this, the best smelling ball of meat I've ever smelled. You can smell the onion. Uh, no, I don't smell balls of meat often, actually. Thanks for asking though. We're gonna go ahead and put this in the loaf pan. Cause it's about time to put this in the oven, I'd say. Next, we're gonna put this in the oven for 30 minutes. And we're gonna see how well I am in not measuring basically in this anything in this recipe. Let's put this bad boy in here and please don't make fun of my pan, okay? It is a good pan, it's been through a lot and uh, don't make fun of how dirty it looks because it's not dirty, I don't think. Anyway, anyway, so yeah, let's go, let's put this in the oven here. Um, I, my hands are preoccupied. Uh, as much as I'd love to just throw this in magically, but I have to open, let's open this. There we go, all right, yes. So putting it in here, I'm gonna put it in the middle rack um, and try not to burn myself, sweet. Okay, put her in there. We're baking for 30 minutes, let's set the clock. I'm losing my middle finger here. Sometimes I do that. And that's not how you set the clock. That's a clock, that's not the timer. Where's the time? bake time? I swear, I just don't know how to use this, apparently, for like three years we've been living here, but that's fine. Um, 30 minutes start, uh, bake time. All right, yep, there it is. And now, a little break from our sponsor. Welcome back, guys. Cooking with Gina. Um, I mean, Gina. Uh, we're actually, we only got like eight minutes left on the timer here. So I'm actually, I'm gonna go rogue. I'm going rogue off the recipe. 
not that I haven't been doing that the whole time with the measurements, but whatevs. Um, I'm gonna go rogue and we're gonna put ketchup on top of there uh, for the last like eight minutes or so. So I'm actually gonna do half regular ketchup, half sugar-free ketchup for me, cause I'm trying to be sugar-free and all that fun jazz. So come on in. Actually, we're already in, but let's go. We got our tomato ketchup-ish thing and we got the other tomato ketchup-ish commission. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Unsweetened commission shoo, shoo. Yep, we're gonna put that on the the loaf. This is what it looks like right now. Yeah, that's it did shrink a little. It didn't really get that much bigger. Um, but I'm gonna put half uh, sugar-free ketchup, half regular ketchup on here. I drew the line in the middle to to decipher which side is which here. The left side is the regular ketchup. The right side with the little, looks like a fingerprint in the middle, right there. That is the sugar-free. That's how I'm gonna tell when this is done, which side is the sugar-free. Uh, the ketchup, you know, got a little messy. That There's a little bit of a mess here, but that's okay. We can clean it up. It's all right. Okay, so now we're gonna stick this puppy back in the oven for about eight more minutes. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye now, goodbye. Get your meatloaf. Here it is, guys. Here's the meatloaf. It's hopefully done. Um, right side, we got the sugar-free. And then on the left, you got the regular sugar. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut this up and put it on a plate. Put it in my mouth. Tell you what it's all about. Got my handy-dandy magical knife. But we're not going to ask it to do any magical tricks. We're just going to cut it. It smells really good. It smells like a great meat pie. So let's doing this with one hand, so please forgive me for, for a second. This is really hard one-handed. It's like I'm sawing through the tree here. I'm sawing through. There we go. Actually, it's not as tough as a tree, but um, I'm just jacking this all up. Let's see. We'll take a look inside. That looks good. The meat looks cooked. Um, God. Yeah. Come on, God. Damn it. Here we go. I have a fork here to try to get it out, so this will be fun. Let's see if we can. There we go. Look at that. Okay, I mean, can, can't really say that meatloaf is, you know, that uh, good looking, you know, appetizing, but it tastes good. Lots of protein. Get your protein in, eat a meatloaf. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go sit down and take a bite out of this. Tell you guys what it look it tastes like, because I can sure tell you what it looks like. Might not be appropriate for YouTube though. Let's take a look and uh, put it in my mouth. Not to interrupt our uh, regularly scheduled TV show, but I have to tell you that I accidentally just took a piece and put it on my plate from the sugar ketchup side. Ah! How can I do that? So I had to put it back in the loaf and cut out another piece in the, the non, the sugar-free ketchup side. It's all right, guys. See, I put it back here and I got another piece from this side. This is the sugar-free side because you could see my fingerprint. Oops, I did not mean to do that. But you can see my finger, two fingerprints now. So anyhow, let's go try this, this crap. You know, let's do it. Let's go. Welcome back. It is that time where we're gonna finally taste what this glorious meat loaf pie dish is going to taste like. All right, hopefully it'll be great. So we got our trusty, dusty dingle hopper or whatever, you know? So we got that. Um, we have our trusty nappy and of course the meat pie. <laughs> Okay, it smells delicious actually. So um, it's just, you know, I can't get over the fact that it's called meatloaf. 
and it's in Hong Kong meat. But we're gonna we're gonna try it. All right here we go. I mean, it cut pretty good. It's not too. I don't even need a knife, so. Mm-hmm. Guys, it's really good. It is very, very good. It is, I can taste the onion, like the onion spices in it that was in that dried soup packet. Um, it has a lot of flavor in it. And I can't tell that I used pork rinds instead of the, you know, regular, the sprinkles of the bread stuff, whatever the heck. I'm having trouble talking always, but you know what I mean, you know what I mean. And yeah, it's really good. I'm gonna have a lot more than this after, after you know, I talk to y'all out there. So, um, but I will post the recipe in the link and whatever the hell I'm trying to say, I'm posting it and you'll see it. It'll be fine. You'll be great. And yeah, till next time, cooking with Gina, meatloaf, beatloaf. Yeah. Gina, Gina Bernadette Weber. Ching! Next week.